good morning welcome to pavitra classes we today we are studying about the pharmaceutical analysis introduction so what is pharmaceutical analysis why it is used in the pharmacy sector or in the formulations after the formulations the analysis part how is this conducted what are the types of the analysis basic introduction we are studying today so what is pharmaceutical analysis it can be defined defined as the series of the processes for identification determination quantification purification of the substances it may be in the single component or it may be a mixture of the components if the sample is also in is unknown it is unpredictable that time also you can analyze the sample you can identify determine the structure of the compound by the some of the instrumentation method like ir nmr can uh, elucidate the structure of that particular unknown compound with the this pharmaceutical analysis and you can also identify you can quantify how much amount is there you can uh, check the purity you can check the safety and efficacy of the sample with the uh, usually the guidelines quality guidelines also you can check with the this branch so the types majorly pharmaceutical analysis types are one is the qualitative analysis and second one is the quantitative analysis as the name only suggest qualitative means we are checking the purity of the sample safety efficacy of the sample quantitative means we are checking the amount of the of the drug sample amount of the additives and the amount of the components in that particular sample this is the major two types one is the qualitative quantitative other than that other different types of the analytic method based on the how method is done with the analysis so how analysis is carried so these are the some of the five exam types are there uh, how analysis is carried so first one is the chemical method so what we are doing in the chemical method we are adding with the chemical reagents with the sample and we are checking the purity and also amount of the sample example will be the titrations whatever the uh, redox titrations non exuvious titration complexometric titrations in this what we will do we are taking the uh, sample in the burette uh, or uh, in the conical flask we are checking the uh, concentration of the particular sample or we are standardizing the particular sample by adding the uh, reaction by carrying the reactions with the some of the chemical reagents like phenolphthalein methyl red the, the, by this chemical methods we are analyzing the sample we are standardizing the sample we are checking the amount of the sample present in the that particular sample next method is the electrochemical method example will be the method analytical methods used are uh, potentiometry and the conductometry here what we will do we are using the same analysis method as the chemical analysis method by uh, the taking the two samples like same titrations but we are not adding the chemical reagents here we are taking the electrochemical methods here so it is electrochemical because we are adding the chemicals but not adding the reagents here we are taking the electrodes electrical electrodes positive electrode as well as the negative electrode for the measuring of the signals electric signals by measuring of the electrical signals and the and reading we are plotting the graph of the particular uh, experiment and we are checking the end point and again we are calculating the uh, strength of the solution by adding the formula so here the electrode standard electrode usually calomel electrodes these are the standard electrodes and the copper electrodes are used in the this electrochemical methods this is the second method using using the chemical uh, solutions with the electric signals third is the optical method usually with the instrumentation spectroscopy some of the uv visible spectrometers ir infrared spectroscopy and nmr in this uh, case the sample is passed through the optical light uh, it may be scattered light it may be diffracted emitted right light the sample will be passed with the optical right and light and we are taking the signals and, and read out by the chart whatever the signal generated by that optical right light we are taking the analysis of the sample so this is the optical method fourth one is the assay methods by the suppression techniques usually chromatography example will be hplc hptlc these are the some of the paper chromatography tlc thin layer chromatography and also column chromatography these are the some of the assay methods by using the suppression techniques here what we will do chemical constituent suppression individual suppression and identification is carried in this 
and we are taking the refraction index of the sample and we are checking the anna sample also this will be around usually with the synthetic also in with the herbal drugs also the assay of the method of the separation techniques with the chromatography is analyzed last part is the miscellaneous methods some of the radio immuno assay methods are there for the radioactive metals and also immunological assays will be done with the this of the, this type of the analysis other than that types of the uh, other type of the analytical methods are there so by the uh, this is the other type by what type of the signal is generated how the signal is generated in that particular instrument analytical method based on the measurement of the signal so in the uh, x ray uv visible electron flame photometry and fluorescence radiochemical methods in this process emission of the radiation will be done absorption of the radiation also done in the spectrophotometry uv visible ir both absorption and emission both are there in this calorimetry aas nmr and the esr scattering of the radiation is done in the turbidimetry nephrometry and the raman spectroscopy refraction of the radiation is done in the refractometry interferometry diffraction of the radiation is done in the x ray electron diffraction methods rotation of the radiation is done in the ord polarimetry and the circular dichromism here radiation rotation will be circularly done in the these methods electrical potentials i told this electrodes by potentialing this potentiometry and chronopotentiometry electric current is used in the polarography amperometry and the calorimetry and electric resistance will be done in the conductimetry other than that mass to charge ratio mass spectroscopy rate of reaction kinetic methods so how fast reaction is taking place thermal properties by checking the temperature of the sample or altering the temperature of the sample thermal conductivity and the enthalpy methods are done with the these signals mass and volume these are the ancient methods gravimetric analysis and the volumetric analysis later the instrumental method came into existence other than that some of the examples we have given here instrument of the components so these are the instruments in every analytical instrument there will be a signal generator analytical signal carrier input transducer transduced signal and the signal processor and the readout these are the some of the uh, analytical instruments photometer aes calorimeter ph meter x ray powder diffractometer color comparator so in this all signal generator we have listed analytical signals that are carried we are we listed uh, input transducers we are listed transduced signal for that particular instrument we are uh, listed and the signal processor and the readout how the last readout section and how uh, in the analysis part last signals what we are receiving uh, receiving in the readout section so in the photometer current meter will be there aes chart will be produced chart recorder we are seeing the chart and we are analyzing it calorimeter chart recorder again ph meter digital unit directly it gives the digital reading of the ph x ray powder diffractometer here black and white images or film will be there color uh, comparator in this visual color responses will be there these are the some of the instrument of the components analytical majorly this is about the small introduction about to the pharmaceutical analysis uh, i hope you understood this topic well so be with us for the more topics thank you once again